Hello and welcome to day 16 of the Lent 102 series. Today's topic is vengeance. What is vengeance? Vengeance is retaliation or tit for tat. What is tit for tat? Doing someone something because they did you, aka do me, I do you, which is completely off the mark. As Christians, we should not be entertaining this, nor even thinking about it. In accordance to Romans 12, 19, the Nib version says, do not take revenge, dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, vengeance belongs to me. I will pay them back, declares the Lord. Now we all know that vengeance belongs to God, but to action the scripture in our lives is easier said than done. But firstly, as Christians, we need to remember that we cannot entertain vengeance or hatred, as that is a gift of the flesh, and we should be filled with gifts of the spirit. Galatians 5, 19 to 21 reads, Now the works of flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lavictiousness, adultery, witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolations, wrath, strife, sedations, heresies, envying, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Now I know what you're thinking. So what do I do? Do I allow someone to hit me? Do I allow them to do them wrong, do me wrong and get away with it? My answer is no. However, we do have something that we can rely on in times such as this, which is prayer. God has already said that prayer is the most important thing that we can be doing as Christians. The power of the tongue and the power of prayer prevails in our lives all the time. You should also make sure you pray as there is power in the tongue and victories are birthed by prayer. Numbers 16 and Joshua 7 are just some of the books I like to mention in regards to reminding ourselves as to how God can pay back those that do us wrong and also to remind ourselves as to how God's vengeance is dished. And as we know, God sees all more than we know. So to rely on God and to trust that God's vengeance will be absolutely magnifique is what we need to learn to do more of. If there's anything I want you to take from this short sermon today, it's this, that God dishes vengeance better than you ever could. In taking these issues and burdens of the heart and vengeful feelings and emotions to God, you are then relinquishing yourself of anger, strife, and then allowing God work. Because when God dishes his dish, it is more than we could ever imagine. I hope this sermon helped. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to day 16 of the Lent 102 series. Please make sure you are following us on all our social media platforms at Morningstar London, where we will be posting daily content to assist you during this Lenten season. Thank you and God bless.